Information is key to getting the vaccines and those still thinking about it. Dr. Frank and George back to answer some more viewer vaccine questions that have come in through clickondetroit.com. Doc. Yeah, Devin. So Liz asks, at this point in time, is there any information on which vaccine, Pfizer or Moderna, may possibly be more effective in people between the ages of 28 and 38 years old? So Liz, based on the study data, both vaccines are considered to be equally effective across all age groups. Notably, though, the Pfizer vaccine is authorized down to age 16. Here are some more of your... Janet asks, I have a family member that is sending out information regarding the vaccine being made from aborted fetuses. This concerns me. While I respect a decision not to get vaccinated, I am also concerned about the information as being true or false. The Pfizer and Moderna mRNA vaccines are not made using any fetal cell lines. And in particular, the Catholic Church has been very clear that these vaccines are not in any ethical conflict with church doctrine. Now, with regard to the single-dose adenovirus vector Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the production does use fetal cell lines, and guidance from the Catholic Church is that this vaccine is acceptable if there is no alternative available. It might also help to understand that while fetal cell lines may have been used to manufacture the J&J &J vaccine, it does not contain any fetal cells from aborted tissue. Now, another viewer writes, I understand Pfizer is coming out with a booster at a year. What is the reason we need a booster after a year? It hasn't been definitively concluded that a booster will be necessary, but the Pfizer CEO did suggest it might. Now, the logic behind a booster is twofold. First, we don't know how long our immunity from the first vaccine doses will last. It is possible that it might be extremely long-lasting, or it might turn out to decrease significantly in time. The other reason a booster may be needed is if virus variants develop that can evade our immune protection from the original vaccinations. Now finally, Carol asks, we had the virus recently and tested positive on March 27th, but have been symptom free for almost two weeks. When can I get the vaccine? I've heard it's 90 days from positive test. Do I have to get a negative test before I get the shot? So Carol, you do not need a negative test before getting vaccinated and you no longer need to wait 90 days from the time of your infection to get vaccinated. As soon as you are out of isolation, go get the shot. Back to you. A lot of good questions to just keep coming in, keep them coming and Dr. McGeorge will keep working on them. All right, Frank.